along with the rest of the uh, city and uh, county, uh, we have watched with uh, profound sadness, extreme anger, and deep dismay the events surrounding the shocking and inexcusable murder of a young African-American man, Laquan McDonald, by a uniformed Chicago police officer, Jason Van Dyke. Given that the crime was recorded on at least one and likely several video recordings, we're all, we all expect that just as the city acted with extraordinary speed to settle the damages claims of the Laquan McDonald family, murder charges would be immediately brought against Officer Van Dyke as well. After all, the crime was not only recorded on video, but also witnessed close by by numerous police officers and civilian witnesses, is our understanding, at the scene. There was little or nothing to do before seeking an indictment other than viewing the video of the shooting and interviewing the police officers. But as we all know, charges were not brought until more than a year had gone by. We have the right to ask and ask. The apparent answers are deeply troubling. First, it appears that as part of a concerted effort at concealment of the details of the vicious nature of this crime, this video was not released to the public until a few days ago, and only after a court-ordered release. Most of our community has little doubt that this was done in whole or in part to allow Mayor Emanuel to avoid controversy and circumvent one of the most pressing issues in our city affecting communities of color, but especially African American community. Sadly, this, this is the kind of bad government for which, uh, for political gain that we are too accustomed to seeing from this administration. But even worse, it is unconscionable that this miscarriage of justice by Ms. Alvarez conducted and orchestrated for her own political gain for the upcoming re-election bid in which she delayed charging the shooter until after the video was ordered released, some 400 plus days after the tragic crime had so brazenly taken place. Ms. Alvarez's record as the county's chief prosecutor has been replete with actions that show a disdain for restorative justice and a petty vindictiveness wholly inappropriate for her office. As one journalist recently said, she's one of the very worst prosecutors in the country. In our view, with her failure to charge the Laquan McDonald murder for over a year, until just before the whole world was about to be shown what Alvarez already knew, that murder is exactly what it was and is. Anita Alvarez has lost whatever remnant of credibility she may have had. As we seek now to heal our city and our county, and as we as a society seek to enact long overdue reforms of our criminal justice system, we need law enforcement officials who are honest, fair, and professional. Too much is at stake to allow Anita Alvarez to continue in the position of Cook County State's Attorney, and accordingly, we call on her today to resign immediately.